as construction on Epic Universe continues to move quickly, and somehow we are almost already through the summer looking at going into August, and with the anticipated opening date or timeline for Epic Universe being probably likely in the early part of 2025, we've been anxiously waiting to see what the last land, which is the Wizarding World in Epic Universe, will all entail, as Universal has been very hush-hush on this land, a lot of the details, and the main ride here. Uh, well, we have an article here from Attractions Magazine that could give us an idea of when we could hear about the final details about this land. So, hi, I'm Jared with Capture the Magic, and we'll just get right into this article. So, this is from Attractions Magazine, and the headline is, Universal to share Wizarding World of Harry Potter updates on September 1st. It says, Universal will share unspecified updates regarding the Wizarding World of Harry Potter during a live stream on September 1st, 2024. As they say, do expect updates. Warner Brothers Discovery fans should... Expect updates, quote, from Universal destinations and experiences about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter theme park attractions during a live stream on September 1st, 2024 at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, which is basically prime time. I mean, that's that's an interesting time there. The event is billed as a showcase of many facets of the Harry Potter brand and will stream on the franchise's official YouTube channel. It says, what will Universal announce during this live stream? Further details about Universal destinations and experiences will share during the September 1st live stream have not been announced. The updates could relate to any of Universal's parks with a Potter presence. Currently, Wizarding World areas exist at, un at four Universal parks globally, Hogsmeade in Florida, California in Japan, as well as Diagon Alley in Florida. A fifth is on its way for 2025, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic that's going to be part of Epic Universe. Incidentally, Universal has not fully revealed Epic Universe's Wizarding World. Universal formally announced the Ministry of Magic project earlier this year, but has yet to unveil the area's specific attractions. Uh, and the occasion on the September 1st live stream is back to Hogwarts, an annual celebration of the Potter brand commemorating the day the Hogwarts Express transports students back to school each year in the stories. During the live stream, in addition to updates from Universal Brothers uh, Discovery, we will also share, quote, start of term announcements from Port Key Games, uh, which is, they're the ones that made the um, Hogwarts Legacy game last year, which was very popular. Um, it says Harry Potter Epic Universe. Thus far, Universal has revealed each Epic Universe world one at a time in the form of high profile announcement videos. The only one remaining is Harry Potter. Universal has yet to formally reveal the attractions of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic, but has said the area will span multiple points in the Potter timeline. Its exteriors resemble 1920s era Place Caché, maybe? I, I'm, I didn't take French, I'm sorry. In France, as seen in the 2018's Fantastic Beast, The Crimes of Grindelwald. While unannounced elements will be, uh, take place in the 1990s London, the decade in which the main Harry Potter stories take place. If they did announce this during a live stream, it would be different because, like they said, they have announced each world or land in a basically a, re a video release on YouTube and, and making a press release about it. So if they did it via this live stream, that would be interesting. Now we know that they have been they haven't really given any details other than they finally did come out and say it was called the Wizarding World Ministry of Magic. But even in I believe it was the first video they came out with, which was for uh, Celestial Park, or maybe it was all of Epic Universe. Uh, and I can't remember her name now, but she's one of the head people of uh, Epic Universe, had said basically that we're not giving any details yet in terms of uh, the ride in this land other than it would be huge. And if we look at the uh, model, but if we look over in the preview center that's at Universal Studios right now, they have a actual model of the entire park. But if we look at the Wizarding World, I mean, this right here is the show building for whatever this ride is that is in the Wizarding World. We can see here, like, this is the streets of Paris, and this all over here is the show build, the, the ride building itself. So, it's, so it's, I mean, the ride itself in these buildings is almost the size of the entire land. So whatever this ride is, is a very big thing. And we've there's been some rumors that this would be an elevator-style ride system. Um, given that it's a Ministry of Magic, this is something that's likely. Uh, but like, again, we don't know any details on it because if, if they do go about this way, I mean, D23 is August 9th through August 11th. So this would be a little bit after that. But they, they still could. I mean, this live stream may not be the announcement for what's coming into Epic Universe. Although when this thing is specifically from destination, you know, like Universal Destinations 
and experiences, and they're talking about things coming to the Wizarding World. I, I have a hard time believing that there would be really anything going on in the other parks that would be live stream worthy to do, uh, you know, at 5.30 Eastern time to announce some things. So I kind of feel like this will be live stream. Now, why this would be live stream versus why not just a regular video, I don't know. Maybe they're... Uh, who knows? It could be. I mean, they are. They do have a different agreement maybe with the IP and J.K. Rowling and things like that. But I have a feeling, though, if they go about this way, that we won't get an opening date announcement from Epic Universe uh, during this live stream. We could, but I have a feeling this will be mostly just about what is coming into Epic Universe, which I'm very curious about. Like I said, there's rumors out there, but this ride seemed just... I remember looking in the preview center and the ride the building for it just how big it is but we could potentially get the final details about the wizarding world here in epic universe on september 1st and then i would assume likely around that time period we would also be getting you know when is epic universe going to open maybe some more details about annual pass holder previews uh ticketing info you know more details because i do believe if we're going off of what some other people have said and some higher ups when it comes to epic universe i do think epic universe is going to be opening in the spring of 2025. I don't believe it's going to be the summer. So, and likely we would start seeing some details or announcements about um, when this is going to open so people can, you know, buy tickets, plan trips and vacations and such. So, timeline here, it's starting to shape up as, again, construction is wrapping up. I mean, it, they're making a lot of progress as they have been. They seem to be really pushing forward fast. And uh, all of this looks like toward the end of the year here, we're gonna, definitely going to wrap all this construction wise up and start looking toward opening dates to opening timelines and eventually being able to get into epic universe which would be great but looks like either way we're getting some sort of announcement on september 1st in a live stream uh i think likely it is going to be about the wizarding world in epic universe but we'll have to wait and see on that but that's going to do it for this video if you like this video please like it and subscribe to the channel as we do lots of coverage here of universal studios epic universe disney world and pop culture let us know in the comments do you think this live stream will be about uh, the Wizarding World that's coming to Epic Universe, or do you think this is going to be something else uh, for the other Wizarding Worlds that are out there in the other parks? And until next time, we will see you in the parks.